What's up nerds, welcome to Cool Nerd Knowledge, and today we're going to educate you on all you need to know about Marvel Civil War comic run. This goes without saying, but for all you sensitive types out there, I'm just going to throw up a spoiler warning here for you. Marvel Civil War is based around the Superhuman Registration Act. This is a legislative act that requires all those with superpowers to register themselves to take full accountability for their actions. This stemmed from rampant collateral damage and deaths that happened during the events of all the Marvel comic runs. The biggest impact coming from the actions of the New Warriors, or lack thereof. The New Warriors, and stars of their own reality show, failed to capture a group of supervillains and put their willingness to boost ratings over the job at hand. As a result, a villain named Nitro uses explosive abilities to level several city blocks, at the center of which was an elementary school. The death toll was north of 600 innocent civilians, 60 of which was the student body of the unfortunately located elementary school. As expected, public acceptance of superheroes plummeted after these events. The idea of such a registration act fractured the superhero community in two. On one side, you have the pro-registration act helmed by Tony Stark. On the other end, you have the anti-registration act, which was led by Captain America. Tony, backed by Mr. Fantastic and Henry Pym, felt that with such a huge shift in the political landscape, heroes should register themselves and at least receive proper training and governance to avoid any possible future mishaps like those of the New Warriors. Team Cap, backed by Falcon and Luke Cage, wanted superheroes' anonymity to remain intact to protect their everyday lives. Tensions between the two sides rose with the anti-registration group hunting down supervillains as normal and leaving them subdued for the authorities to find, with the pro-registration act hunting down and arresting any superheroes not willing to register. The first big victory between both sides came when Tony Stark convinced Spider-Man to reveal his secret identity and join sides with him. As a reward for his loyalty, Stark provides Parker with the iconic Iron Spider suit, which gives Spidey similar tech-based abilities as Iron Man. The hidden caveat to this generosity was the suit was used to study his abilities and come up with a fail-safe in case Spider-Man decided to turn on Stark. Unbeknownst to the Web Slinger, Tony was in development of Project 42, a prison in the negative zone, which would hold anyone unwilling to register. After learning this information, and after a brawl with Mr. Stark, Spidey promptly switched sides to the newly titled Secret Avengers. The run culminated with a battle to free all imprisoned heroes. The two sides met on Rikers Island, with Hulkling, disguised as Hank Pym, releasing all of those imprisoned. This led to an all-out battle between both sides. During the battle, the fight was teleported to the middle of New York City by Cloak, where Tony Stark and his pro-registration team were met with Miss Marvel and an Atlantean army led by Namor. Amidst the battle, Tony Stark's armor was rendered useless by the Vision 2, leaving Cap an opportunity to land a war-ending strike. Before Cap had the chance to react, he was overpowered by several non-powered emergency service workers, which forced him to surrender and end the war, sending Cap to jail. On the day of his trial, he was assassinated by Crossbones, acting under the orders of the Red Skull. And there you have it. That's all you need to know about Marvel Civil War Comic Run. If you like what you saw here, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Thanks for watching. Marvel Civil War is based around the superhuman registration. <laughs> Stop moving around with the belt on. Sorry. It's like weirding me out. Don't man. This stemmed from... I'm just looking at Devin, and it's fucking... What am I doing? You like... This stemmed from the rampant collateral... <laughs> Damn it. I, that, I felt that. That was good. <laughs>